Do you think Burfick should be allowed to ever play in the NFL again? Well, my initial answer would be my initial answer would be yes. I think he should be suspended for the rest of the season. I had no problem with that. But when you talk about the the remainder of the man's career, this being the largest on-field fine ever, um, that that's real hard for me to sit up there and say somebody's career should be over uh, because of that. I think that deferring the Marcus, Ryan, guys that played in this league. I think it's more appropriate for them to take that position uh, as opposed to us. Let me, Having said all of that, let me say this. Let me say this. Excuse me a second. Um, here's the deal. Lamont Smith is the agent for Vontez Burfecht. He and I spoke on the phone last night, so everybody has a right to know that. He is going to appeal the suspension like he told our very own Josina Anderson. He and I were on the phone for about 45 minutes. His position is this. He has no problem. He understands that a, a penalty is automatic. He understands that a suspension is automatic. His issue is with the extent of the penalty. The fact that it's 12 games, minimum. That it's the rest of the season, minimum. That's where he has a problem with it. He is saying, you, you, if you look at our league, you're supposed to be looking at stuff in a vacuum. You're doing what the NFL is doing is they're going towards Vontez Burfick's history to say, because of your history, this hit that you just imposed on Jack Doyle, you got to go. He has a problem with that. He also has a problem with the league in John Runyon's statement, the VP of football operations for the NFL, stating that there were no mitigating circumstances. He emphatically disagrees with that. He says, if you look at the video, you see, he, I, because of my position was, he launched at the guy. His position is, his arms were out in front, not just his head. And the guy was going down. And on top of it all, number 29 there, was also, when you talk about mitigating circumstances, the guy was trying to get up and move because nobody had touched him yet. So he's saying that it was a football play. And because it was a football play, with the guy trying to get up, and then you're going to hit him. His mentality is that it, those two circumstances alone should be enough for the National Football League to look at it if indeed you're exercising fairness and saying we're looking at this on a case-by-case -case basis as opposed to piling on from the past yeah. to piggyback off of that to add to this incident and say that warrants you being suspended. That's his position. That's going to be the position of his appeal. And that's the perspective that they wanted out there. What's your By response? By the way, LaMarcus Joyner was the player, the name. LaMarcus Joyner. I'm yeah. sorry. Yes. That's, that's perfect for his agent. And that, that, that in particular argument is a valid argument to what he's saying. Because you do want to individualize these situations. I'm going to tell you, Stephen A., and we were talking during the break, Max, the hardest thing for me to do as a player is to say another player sh doesn't deserve to play in the league anymore, right? And in this particular situation with Vontez Burfick, the only reason I say that is because I'm looking at the other side. We've seen him all try to break Cam Newton's ankle. Like, you, you can talk about that you don't want to include that as much as possible, but there's a history of incidents for a reason. There's a reason why all of the shows and everybody that's talking about this and the NFL came down so hard is because of the nature of the things he's done. Taking a tight end's knee out intentionally. He almost killed Antonio Brown right here, by the way. So, so to for what Lamont is saying, to isolate that situation, I 100% understand that. And for me, it's difficult to say that Vontez Perfect shouldn't be in the league. I don't think Vontez Perfect can adjust to what the new league is, right? Like, I, I played in 05 when, when some of these hits was just hits, and you get up and you play the next play. The crown of the helmet is the number one thing they talk about with head and neck injuries. That's number one. So whether you say he put his arms out or not, this is a crown. This is the example that they would use as the crown of your helmet making contact with another guy's head and neck area. That's the perfect example. The arm, we all see it. That still is a penalty. And because of Vontez perfect history, the NFL came down and impended on this. And because of his history, I don't think he can play in the league anymore. I would say this to Vontez Burfick's agent. 
first of all, I would support his client playing in the league again if after this year is over, he can demonstrate that he can control his impulses. Because to me, what's pretty clear is Vontez Burfecht has an impulse control problem. That means it's not premeditated necessarily. But in that moment, he doesn't make the right choice. He gives in to the impulse. And the reason I say that, I go back. I wasn't going to bring it up again. I bring it up every time. But the Pittsburgh game told me everything I need to know. He'd already had a history of this stuff. Every talk show, everyone was talking about it. Is he going to do something stupid? Last play of the game. The graphic comes up on the screen if you're watching the game. Uh, Cincinnati, ne sorry, Pittsburgh needs 14 yards to be in field goal range. Plays over. Done. He gives them 15 yards on an infraction. 15 yards on an impulse. That, that tells me that's impulse. That's nothing your, your, your frontal lobes are doing. That's coming from a bad place, right? So he's got to demonstrate that. Then I'd let him play. But this is why I, I think it's unfair for his agent in this case to say they're not taking it in a vacuum. They're looking at his history. To what Marcus was saying, if the Riddler's coming out of the bank with the bag with the money sign on it, it's kind of tough for him to make the case I was making a withdrawal. You know, like, we know what your history is. We know what. Yeah. So, like, yeah. when you launch at a guy and hit him like that to say, well, my arms were extended. No, they weren't back like this. Um, the guy was trying to get up. That may be true, but we've seen this 15 times from you already. Two nuggets of information y'all need to know before you go on, Molly. Number, the other thing Lamont Smith reminded me of is that he said Vontez Burfecht did not have an incident in 2018. The entire season went by and he did not have one violation. He pointed that out to say, excuse me, this, there is a chance that this man could come and to do something right, okay? So he wanted to make sure that I pointed that out. Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.